Hi, right, Matt with the Trailer, and today we're going to talk about the Yakima Skyline FX roof rack bars. So this is going to be a great option for you if you're looking for a system that's going to be really easy to take on and off, and you have flush rails. So let's take a closer look at it. Now this is going to be able to fit multiple size roofs because these do have the ability to expand. You just have to plug in your vehicle into our fit guide and find out what's going to be the best fit for you. The main appeal of this is how easy it is to take on and off your roof. Now you'll just have to make sure you take off all these caps. I've already removed the ones from the passenger side. But as you can see right here, with everything removed like that, you just lift up on it and it pops right off. Putting it back on is just as easy, just sliding on that end cap to finish it off until it clicks into place. Now we take a closer look at the Yakima system. Now the bar itself is going to use our Yakima Jetstream bars that are going to attach to these towers. And since this design is made this way, this is going to be a flush rail system. So what that means is we're not going to have any overhang. So that's going to give you more of a clean finish to your system. But it's also going to take away some real estate of where you can put accessories on top of your bars too. Now since this is a flush rail system, we're only going to be able to put our accessories in from one area. That's going to be this center part on our crossbars. You're just going to plug in whatever T-Track accessories you have and slide it in through this channel. Now what I like about this is it's going to have this built-in uh, rubber weather strip. And what that's going to help do is reduce wind noise and keep any debris out of here. And what's really great about this weather strip is that you don't have to cut this down the size since it is built in. Taking a closer look at the skyline towers now, if I just remove this end cap, which gives it that really nice clean finish to it, we can take a close look at the hardware inside of it. Now you'll notice we have this access door, and that's going to lock everything down into place so no one can take this off real quick. Now I will say, the lock core that we have on here is just a plastic lock core that you can unlock with a screwdriver or with some quarters. So, I'm not, so it's not really that secure. Anybody could come by and take it off real quick. What I'd recommend doing is going to our website and checking out some of the Yakima lock cores that we have. And those will be metal lock cores that you can get key to like to any of your other Yakima accessories too. To take a closer look at the hardware underneath here, I'm just gonna unlock this access door, open it up. Now you'll notice we have two bolts in here we're going to have one on top and that's going to adjust your pitch. And the way you adjust that is with an included Allen key. You just tighten and loosen that up and what that's going to do is change the angle of the crossbar itself to accommodate different types of roofs. If you are someone who's very particular on how the this fits on your roof then that's going to give you more control. And the other setting we're going to have in here is going to be this bolt that adjust your length of your crossbars to fit on top of your roof. Just give you an example of that, what that's gonna look like. You just have to lift this up some, close that back in. You can access it even with the access door closed. Loosen up that bolt some until it's loose enough to adjust. And once it is, then you can see how it telescopes. Just like that. Now I know we've been talking a lot, a lot about how this is going to lock into place and that's going to lock into place to your fit kit. And you can find what's going to be the best one for you using the fit guide on our website. Something that I really like about this design as opposed to some of the other Yakima crossbars is just going to be how sleek it fits up here. You don't have to worry about anything that's bulky hanging off the sides of it and just how those towers fit onto those crossbars is just going to give you an overall better look. Now you're going to have a weight capacity of up to 165 pounds. What I recommend doing is just checking what your roof is rated for so you don't overload it. But if you liked everything you saw today, that was just a look at the Yakima Skyline FX roof rack bars. Thanks for watching.